Laura Marsh. Come on, sleepyhead. Would you like to bring her through? Thank you. Afternoon surgery starts at four, not four fifteen. Yeah, well aware. I've got patients waiting, Michelle. I'm on it. Is there a particular reason why? No, you... Mr. Murray. Do you want to come through? Here we go. Thought we could get through at least one day without all this. Did you? So you're feeling tired most of the time, not much energy, and doing simple things wears you out. Simple. Going upstairs, making your bed. <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. But you're sleeping OK. Laura, can we also include a way with the fairies in her symptoms? Is that real? Yes. Why is it here? I'm interested in archaeology. Like graveyards and stuff? That's right. When did you first notice the change in Laura? A few weeks. But it's the summer holidays. I mean, any other kid her age would be bouncing off the wall, but she's just not interested, and... What do you think could be wrong? In the absence of any other physical symptoms, it's difficult to say. I've been wondering what to do. It's such a change in her. I mean, should I be worried? Is there anything practical? Oh, we could run some tests. Uh, I could take some blood if Laura doesn't mind. Don't worry, it won't hurt. I've done this lots of times. Just make an appointment on your way out to get the dressing checked. Thank you. There, see? Just a little scratch, like Dr. Hassan said. Is there anything worrying you, Laura? School? Tests? No. What about the new term? It's fine. What happens to that? Get sent to a lab for testing. All of it? Is this about your dad? I told you that, no. My husband's serving in Afghanistan, which is always a bit of a worry. It's understandable. Because he's in a safe position. And he'll be home soon, I know. Children of the Beltane. It's one of my favourites. I must have read it when I was about your age. Pooh Pim's our neighbour. Really? <laughs> if you mean Mrs Bardock, then you've been listening to the wrong school friends. She is. Pooh Pim's not her real name. That's right, she uses a pen name. Well... Perhaps. When will you get the results? Uh, in a few days, I'll give you a call. Until then, I'd try looking at Laura's bedtime routine if she's still waking up tired. Starting with an earlier time. It's not fair. Well, life really is. I'll see you out. Thank you, Dr. Hassan. You love the attention. Who wouldn't? Well, I'm not saying I don't, but... Oh, come on. Next stop, breakfast TV. You've been two-minute sound bites on tanning booths and mental health issues. Uh, <laughs> let me write you a prescription for some new jokes. <laughs> no, I'm just... Um, I'm finding my feet. I'm getting the grips of the technology. Boys and their toys. Mm -hmm. And there are the perks. Oh, yeah? What, get your own parking space? I wouldn't call her that. Ooh, really? Yeah, producer. Come on. Ah, Michelle, three of your patients are backed up in reception. Yep, well aware. Well, then maybe the coffee can wait, and not the patients. Well, I could do both. You just get off my back. Right, my office before you go tonight, please. Not before time. But when can we? Look, I am not going back tonight, and that's an end to it. Someone might take it. Well, I'll ring the surgery and get Dr. Hassan to leave the book at reception, OK? This is part of. Funny, we were just talking about you. The bins. The cats were in them last night. Sorry? I hope they didn't wake you. Oh, uh, no. For your little girl. If she likes reading. They're suitable for her age. Well, that's really kind of you. Thank you. Well, say thank you, Laura. Thanks. Horrid Mr Crow. You know, she's got it into her head that that's you, you're, you're Vera Pym. She's reading, um, oh, what is it, Children of the... Beltane. Uh, that's it. Only she's left it at the doctor's, which was clever. Good day. Bye-bye. Thank you. That was nice of her, wasn't it, Laura? Laura? I'm just saying that I, I think it comes across really well. I mean, I know you had your reservations. You could say that. 
Yeah, I did a good job the other day. He sounds capable and intelligent, doesn't he, Daniel? Jimmy, yeah, absolutely. He's not overconfident, and the radio stations say the ratings are going up. Well, as long as his ego doesn't. Jimmy's not like that. No, he spends at least one evening a week reading to the blind and the odd afternoon helping old ladies with their shopping. Just to keep himself grounded, of course. Yeah, well, shame others don't follow his example. That was a joke. You know, after everything that Jimmy's done for you, I think you could be more charitable in your opinions. Well, I didn't mean to... No, no. You don't really deserve people being kind to you, do you? What are you looking for? The necklace you and Dad gave me for my birthday. With the cross on it? It won't be in there. When did you last have it? Before we moved. In other words, it could be anywhere. Are you worried about your dad? I told you. If it's keeping you awake at night, I don't want it to. Everything's all right. OK? Don't do that. It'll start bleeding again. Why haven't we heard from him lately? Like I said, one of the other wives said the phone lines had been down or something, and... Oh, no phone lines means no phone, no email. And... Oh. But they were getting ready to move. So any day now. Tea in five minutes. Well, I think we both know what this is about, and we both know it can't go on. Can I not just be having an off day? Yeah, you could, but this has been going on longer than a day. Now, would you mind telling me exactly what Ruth is doing, in your opinion? She doesn't have to do anything. She just is. Well, that's hardly a defence for your attitude. Can we just leave it? I'm dealing with it in my own way. Then you'll have to find another way, because it clearly isn't working. So that's it. What? Your problem, Michelle, deal with it or else. I didn't say that. As good as. I mean, how unfair is that? The amount of time and patience you've shown that psycho, I have one off patch and I'm holding here like some naughty schoolgirl. Then stop acting like one. I want us act. <laughs>